Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make your own Lego iPod dock. So the materials you're going to need are a single 6x8 flat piece, any color, any of these, excuse me, any color you choose. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4x2s, four no matter what color, any color you choose. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2x2s, two any color, 1 2x1, two one, and another 2x1, but I did um, two 1x1s one ones instead because I didn't have two of these, and you're also going to need three 2x3s, two, two 1x6s, and one 1x8. One this is one right here. Okay guys, for step one, you are going to need two four by twos, four two by twos, two three by twos, and two two by ones. Now we're gonna do, and also you're gonna need this piece right here, the uh, six by eight. What you're gonna do is flip it over, take these two two by fours, attach them to the top left corner, and top right corner. You're also going to take a 2x2, two two, put it right underneath on the right side, as well as one on the left side. So it should look like that so far. You're going to take <clears throat> another 2x2, two two, put it up here, and over here, so it looks like a C. And I guess you could use any, uh, you don't have to use a big piece. If you're spare on those, you could use all small 2x2s, two two but this is what I'm doing right now. You're also going to um, take a 3x2 and another 3x2 and fit them in there. So that all you have left is this space right here, which you're going to fill in with your 2x1s and 1x1s, however you can. So when you're done with step one, it should look something like this. Okay guys, so once you have finished this piece right here, you're going to take both of your 2x6s and affix them to the top right hand corner. And top left hand corner. So that three of the pegs are staying out, and three of the pegs are staying in, and it should look something like this so far. Then what you're going to do is take your 8x1 and connect both of them like that across so it looks like that. Just line it across. Now you're going to take your three four by twos and use them to connect that to there right across and just line them up right next to each other and that secures it in place even more and makes it sturdier. Now all you have left to do is fill in this space. I mean if you're short on Legos you could just go like that and put one there but what I'm going to do is line these across. Actually, I just messed up right there. You could just fill them in somehow. I'll go like this. And fill them in with those three right there in the middle and then I'll attach this one right here and this one right here and when it's done basically you can fill in that however you want depending on what legos you have when it's done it looks like that 
and basically that was step two, I guess. I lost count of the steps. And there is your original Lego iPod dock. As you can see, I have a case on it that fits nice um, perfectly. If you want to go ahead and make it even more sturdier, I guess you could glue this together and make this piece keep it from uh, falling off. But other than that, it's a great stand. I hope you enjoy, guys. Uh, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Spread the news. And, uh, yeah, peace.